There's a legal gray area when it comes to emulators, cores, and such. That is the fact of including BIOS with the emulators and cores. BIOS, if you do not know what they are, are a set of instructions that run the system. Without them, you can't run various systems. In the case of PSP, is actually simulated BIOS as is with the virtual Jaguar core. But many of the cores need BIOS to function. And I'm going to go over this briefly with a new module that will be in my core set. And I'm going to go into the core set for today's update. You'll see this nice nifty KM Master BIOS module 328.18. And we're going to look at a readme for it here. Right here. This module will add support for various BIOS to RetroArch. Simply copy and paste the pertinent BIOS into root directory, BIOS folder of pertinent core, then installs an HMOD via Hashi2. BIOS not included, it is your own responsibility to provide them. And if you go down a little bit, it'll actually tell you what you need for each of the systems. So for instance, if you want to run 4 do you're going to need this file right here. And what you're going to do is basically copy that file. And let's go into the HMOD itself. I have it in my Hashi2 CE directory. Master BIOS module. I'm going to go in here. And let's look at the name of the file. I need that PANAFZ10 bin to run 3DO. So I'm going to go into here. And all of these are going to be inside the system folder, except where noted otherwise. So I go to the system folder and simply copy this file into there. And then I can install the 4DO core and I'll be able to run them. And let's look at another example here. Let's go back to the master BIOS module. Say I would like to run... Let's see right here. NP2 Kai, which is a PC98 core. It goes inside an NP2 Kai folder. So I'd actually have to make this folder right here inside system. So I go inside system, and then I would create this folder called NP2 Kai. And then within that folder, I would have to have all of these files the sound samples the ROM, etc, etc, and I'd put those all right into here. And then I would install that along the master BIOS module, along with the NP2 Kai core. And there's only maybe a, a dozen cores that you have to worry about doing this for. Most of the cores, over 80% of the cores, are not going to need BIOS at all. You'll be able to run them just fine. Of course, if you want to run MAME 2003, 2010, or 2014, we're going to look at the one for um, what you'll need for those. We'll go back to the Master BIOS module again. We'll go down to where it says Arcade, Final Burn Alpha, and MAME cores. Q Sound Zip is needed to run CPS2 games. And of course, you'll need Neo Geo Zip to run Neo Geo games, and the version will vary whether or not you run in MAME 2003 or 2010. That'd be the old versus the new. And of course, Unibios if you're running Federal Burn Alpha 2012 or 2016. And then if you want to run specific games such as uh, Salamander 2, you might need the Konami GX BIOS. So this is what it comes down to. It is a you know gray area where I cannot really include these with the cores. So you have to provide them on your own, but you can ask me in the comments, send me private messages, and I'll do my best to help you accordingly. As far as getting on the right path to run these, I'm here at your beck and call to help you guys and gals out. So let me know if you need any assistance whatsoever, assistance whatsoever running these. Again, you're only going to need these for a few cores. Let's go through this list here. You'll need them for 40 o You'll need them for the arcade if you want to run Neo Geo or CPS2, etc. You'll definitely need them if you want to run 5200 or the Atari 800. 
you'll definitely need them if you want to run ColecoVision or MSX. And of course with BSNES, you'll need them if you want to run the Super Game Boy and a few other things such as Top Gear 3000. You'll need them if you want run want to run the FMSX core to run MSX games. You'll need them for the free INT to run the Intellivision core. For Genesis Plus GX, you're only going to officially need them if you're running Sega CD, which would be these ones right here, and they're listed, of course. Then for Genesis Plus, if you want to do the lock-on feature, you'll need the ones listed here, or Game Genie and such. Even though I have a uh, Link's boot image for Atari Lynx here, you do not necessarily need this. You can put it there if you want to, but it is not required. You do not need the GBA BIOS for Game Boy Advance. It will still run without it. You definitely need them to run the MP2 and MP2 Kai Core. You definitely need them to run the Odyssey 2 Core. You definitely need them to run the PCFX Core. And of course, you're going to need them to run Turbo Graphics CD. For uh, PlayStation 1, you're not required to have them. It'll run without them, but you may have problems if you do not have them. Pico Drive, you definitely need them to run Sega CD. For Pro System, you do not need them for Atari 7800. They'll run regardless. You'll need them for sure for the PX68K core. And again, here it says you need a Karopi folder to put them in. So I would make a Karopi folder within the system folder. And within the Karopi folder, I would copy the C, you know, these files right here. C drum, IP, low ROM, DAT, and such. And to the right, it shows what systems these all run. And of course, uh, RetroArch, if you want to run Famicom Disk System, you're going to need the Disk System ROM. And you can simply copy and paste that right into the system folder. And lastly, it is not required, but you can run your Bose, which is the Saturn, Sega Saturn 1, with the Saturn BIOS bin. Again, most of the cores do not need the BIOS, but only a few do. And I'm going to show you what they'll look like when you're all done. And I actually own most of these systems, so I am legitimately able to have these BIOS on my own end, but I cannot speak for the user base. So I'm going to go into my release here. And these will not be in the release, but this is the setup for all the BIOS, what they would look like. I'm going into the Master BIOS module. And if I have everything set up according to how my README is here. Let's go back here. Etc. Folder. System. These are all the BIOS that I would need for all the systems in my set. All laid out accordingly. Most of them would go in the System folder. And of course, I would need databases and machines to run MSX and ColecoVision. I would need Karopi to run the X68000 Sharp Core and MP2 and MP2 Kai to run the PC98 cores. It is not that difficult. These are easily found online. And again, you could let me know via private message or comments and such or on Reddit, GBA Temp, Discord, whatever. Get in contact with me. I'll help you get these things running accordingly. So hope you enjoyed the video, and of course that update will be posted. Sorry for the inconvenience, but this is the way it has to be to keep things...